Before leaving, please remember to make a contribution to all of my uh, thousands of hours of work uh, uh, here, uh, PayPal, Patreon, or fundraiser in the description below or on the China Rising Radio Sinoland art article page. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Today's uh, article and audiovisual podcast is entitled, Why Would Countries Not Support Fighting Racism? racial discrimination, and xenophobia on the world stage. Most Western countries say no. Are you surprised? I'm not. Pictured above, European slash American colonial settlers coolly and calmly slitting the throats of Native American women and children. No other race of people outside Europeans can even come close to the billion or more they have exterminated over the last 500 years and still are. Thanks to my good friend and comrade Weiling Chua, who sent this to our China Writers Group, sometimes it takes details to really see what happens on the world stage. It also brought up many memories of all I have written about this subject. And it is on 31 December 2020, almost a year ago, the United Nations General Assembly, meaning all 193 world countries, were invited to vote on a proclamation. The proclamation was very short. A global call for concrete action for the elimination of racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance and the comprehensive implementation of and follow-up to the Durban Declaration and Program of Action. So if your country voted for this resolution, it means that your people and your country's principles are against racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance. If your country voted against it, your UN representative is saying you and your citizens are for racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance. The resolution was adopted by the General Assembly by a vote of yes, 106, no, 14, abstentions, 44, non-voting, 29. Wow! 14 countries came out publicly in support of racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance. Which countries were these? Hmm, from A to Z? Australia, Canada, Chechia, Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, France, Germany, Guyana, Israel, the Marshall Islands, Nauru, Netherlands, Slovenia, USA, and the UK. 11 of the 14 no votes are in Uranglo land, that being NATO, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and Israel. The others, DRC, Guyana, Marshall Islands, and Nauru, all have one common feature. They are geopolitical and resource whores for your Wrangler land. Abstentions are weasel votes to supposedly remain neutral and if organized to hopefully keep a resolution from passing. It didn't work this time. Nevertheless, interestingly, out of the 44 abstentions, the majority of them are the remaining Western countries. The 29 non-voting countries are mostly small and poor. What is the resolution's Durban Declaration and Program of Action? Well, I went to their website and you can see the link below. Durban Declaration and Program of Action. 2021 marks the 20th anniversary of the Durban Declaration and Program of Action, the DDPA. This is an important milestone and offers an opportunity to reflect on progress made in efforts to eliminate racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related, intolerance, related intolerance 
good practices and challenges with regard to the implementation of the plan of action. The DDPA called for concrete actions by states and other actors related to people of African descent. Concrete actions include investments in health systems, education, housing, electricity, drinking water, and environmental control measures, and promoting equal opportunities in employment, ensuring access to education and to new technologies, in particular to women and children, inclusion of the history and contribution of Africans and people of African descent in education curriculum. Of course, Africans are in all across North and South America, Africa, Europe, uh, the Middle East, uh, uh, much of much of Asia, uh, and um, uh, and on into uh, Oceania, Australia, with the Aborigines, uh, etc. They're everywhere. Ask yourself, what do the people of Australia, Canada, Chechia, Democratic Republic of Congo, France, Germany, Guyana, Israel, Marshall Islands, Nauru, Netherlands, Slovenia, USA? UK have against these noble ideals? Why did the mostly 44 abstaining Western countries not vote yes? If you are a citizen, do you agree with these no and abstention votes? Which countries did vote yes to fight racism? Most of them are communist, socialist, anti-capitalist, uh, I'm sorry, anti-imperialist, I, I abbreviate that CSAI, like China, Russia, Iran, and the DPRK, meaning North Korea, which I call the Asian Quad, throw in Pakistan and you've got the mighty prick, P-R-I-C-K. Others in the CSAI camp include Argentina, Belarus, Bolivia, Cuba, Ecuador, Laos, Malaysia, Nicaragua, Peru, Philippines, Syria, Thailand, Venezuela, Vietnam, Yemen, among many others, to round out the 109 yes. Yeses, uh, I guess. <laughs> Even reliable Potomac vassals like Brazil, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, India, Jordan, Kuwait, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, uh, United Arab Emirates, and others had the decency to support fighting racism. If the decent thing to do is vote yes, then what does that say about all the Western countries and their lackeys who voted no or abstained? For the 119 countries who voted yes, what kind of message does Uranglaland send to the rest of the world about their hopes for the future and betterment of humankind? Western Empire is telling them no to have, and I repeat, investments in health systems, education, housing, electricity, drinking water and environmental control measures, and promoting equal opportunities in employment. And the other clause was ensuring access to education and to new technologies, in particular women and children. End of excerpt from the uh, Durban uh, uh, ag uh, agreement. The Western trillionaire global capitalist dictatorship has no interest in working towards these win-win mutually beneficial goals because basic infrastructure and technology, education, and environmental protection help the 99%. These kinds of investments don't make double-digit profits, so to hell with humanity. Western racism against all the global, quote, others can be seen nonstop since the ancient Greeks. I've written a huge amount on it. If you have not read this expose, you should do yourself a favor, and it is entitled, Slavs in the Yellow Peril are, quote, niggers, brutes, and beasts, end of quote, in the eyes of Western Empire. Of course, the link is provided. Based on this, I later fleshed out a new term, the six E's of Western racism, Expansionism, extermination, expropriation, extraction, enslavement, and evangelism, which is used as a platform to read about here. And so I took that concept of the six E's and used it extensively in the following uh, piece, 
the United States' new African strategy and its implications for China's long-term cooperation and development on the great continent. And of course the uh, uh, link is provided. Enjoy and learn. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. China Rising Radio Sign the Land and China Tech News Flash signing out. Please make a contribution to all of my hard work. Thank you.